Our day started out a strange one from the moment we arrived at Derwent Water. The gate to nowhere was nowhere to be seen for starters, and a familiar location looked very unfamiliar. Good morning from the Lake District and I stayed last night in a place called Grasmere and Rydal or Riddle, Rydal maybe water and I'm here with Dermot and we were looking to get a lovely sunrise this morning but there was going to be nothing there. It was flat grey, at least there's a small bit of texture in the clouds that are here now so we decided to come up to Derwent Water and Derwent Water is probably one of the most photographed areas in the Lake District. And I said I'd bring Dermot here because I was here a couple of years back and I visited this spot and it was quite nice. So I said, you know what, let him come here. Let's have him a look at the actual quintessential shot really of this area. But what should be actually coming out here is a fence and leading to a gate to nowhere. And it makes a really nice shot. I did get a shot of it here before. Um, I'll link actually, I'll just show you that shot right now. But as you can see, there is no fence, there is no gate. It's really, really high water. And across over here as well, you also have some jetties. So they normally give a nice shot as well, but they're also completely underwater. So I imagine there must have been a lot of rain here recently for the water levels to be so high. And I was also hoping that we would have gotten some flat cam water, but we don't have that either as well. So it's going to be an interesting shoot. I'm going to stay in for maybe an hour, half an hour or something like that and get a couple of shots anyway at least to kind of tick this one off. You get, you know, this, the tree as well itself. So I'll get set up and I'll talk you through what I'm going to do in a moment and get this shot from this lovely location. I have the camera set up now and I'm not using any filters because there's completely flat light, there's no harsh light really to deal with. And at the moment I've got it set at f11, my ISO is at 100 and I'm getting 1 20th of a second. I'm going to probably try in a moment to put on probably a Lee little stopper and to try and smooth out that water a small bit to give me a long exposure and then I possibly, if that doesn't work, I'll try the Lee 10 stop. Uh, big or the, the 10 stop filter because that will allow me to take a longer exposure without losing any of the detail in the clothes that are in the background there if we could get some nice light that would shine on here it would really make it jump it would make the image as well pop because looking at the back of the screen it does seem quite bland and flat still a nice location still a nice shot to be able to get so I'll pop on the filters there now and uh, yeah we'll check back in and I'll show you what I'm doing for that shot and let's see we can compare the difference between a 1 20th of a second shot and possibly a 30 second or even longer shot as well itself so yeah check back in again there in a moment <coughs> I asked for sunlight and what I'm actually getting is rain so I've got to be quick here to take the shot so that I don't get any water splash or on the front of the filters but I've taken a 30 second shot there now as well and it does seem to be working out quite nicely where I've got it at the moment is f14 my ISO is down to 50 and I'm at the 30 seconds that's what I need to do so that the shot itself doesn't blow out but I'm going to change it now to um, possibly around about an f11 
and I want to try and just get that longer bit of exposure just to see if I can bring out some of the detail that's there because it is quite flat light like I said a moment ago so there's nothing really going to jump out in the image but if I can get it a small bit brighter so exposing to the right I think it will have more dynamic uh, aspect of the shot as well itself and it won't be as a flat image as well so that's taking this shot here now for 30 seconds so we'll have a look and see what type of an image this is going to give me hopefully i don't have any rain on the front of the filter once it takes the shot because then it's not going to be that difficult to change or fix in post but i just prefer not to have it to make sure the shot as well is right so there's my photograph here and looking at it there is nothing that is uh, blown so that's fine and if i'm looking at the detail it's sharp the whole way through the image as well itself and all i have is this one tree which normally there's a gate, like I would have said uh, from the outset, but there is no gate because there is so much water. It's a really nice spot. It's probably the, the, the most photographed uh, position where I am right now, but I'm not going to be here all the time, so I might as well just go for those shots while I am here. You can see in the distance as well, I, I did have visibility on the hills. You probably, you probably can't see them there now the way I've got the camera framed, but that's gone and I can see that the, the rain now is coming in against me so I'm going to take one more quick shot from here and uh, we'll move on to another location in a moment hopefully if the rain will allow us to do it but I'll show uh, the, the final shot that I've gotten from here anyway now and I'll see you when we get to the next location wherever that will be. Here's the first shot at 120 of a second ISO 100 f11 and the second shot 30 seconds, F11, ISO 50. Which one do you prefer? I was going to finish up here, but as you can see behind me now, the light has started to appear. So right behind us here is the sun and there's a tiny little bit of a break in the clouds and what that's allowing to do is light up the peaks that are in the background here so I've switched out my camera and or my lens so I'm using my long lens right now and I'm just waiting here for the light to reach the top of the peak that you see here in front of me and what that's going to allow me to do then is make that like I said earlier jump up because or jump out really because it wasn't really doing anything earlier on as well itself there's also something I'm just spotting here now behind me here so I want to try and zoom in as well on that now that I have the long lens and there's a small bit of a peak uh, of snow as well that's on that so it might give a nice shot so I'm actually happy that I decided to stay here I'm happy that we didn't leave because once the light comes obviously it changes everything in photography but you know should give a nice shot here I'm just keeping an eye on behind but should give a nice shot to be able to get some nice conditions anyway to get some nice photographs and get a bit of texture into what otherwise was a flat scene. As the rain started to become more persistent, and as Dermot filmed in super slow motion, something was telling me that it was time to go. But unfortunately, we were seconds too late. We're about to get a ticket. Right, well, you have to display a ticket on your vehicle. Oh, man. Okay. How do we pay this? It tells you on the back how to pay, you can pay on the internet, how much or at the town hall, or at any post office. How much is it? It's uh, £50. £50, lovely. Thank you very much, you're very kind.